Hello! Ah, e-books. Just like traditional regular old books, except sterile and rubbish. But unfortunately, if you want to read things on the cheap, e-books do seem to be the way to go. Um, largely because all the libraries seem to be closing down. Actually, true story. If ever I want to get a book out of the library, it's always inexplicably booked out to um, Norwich Prison. I don't know what that says about my literature habits, but there we are. Lock-picking for dummies. As you are doubtless aware, there are many devices for reading these e-books on, the most popular, I believe, being the Amazon Kindle. From a popular online book retailer and electronics retailer and anything else that physically exists retailer, Amazon. Uh, the Kindle's like a little slip of a thing with a e-ink screen that's all black and white and lasts for a month of one charge and doesn't weigh anything and you can read it in all the... Um, lighting conditions you can find, and I should of course point out that the shop is Amazon. And I deliberately pronounced it Amazon to see if there are any idiots watching who, rather than watching the rest of the video, will instead immediately jump into the comments on YouTube going, You pronounced Amazon wrong, ra ra ra, also I have never kissed a girl. Yeah. Well, up yours. Anyway, where were we? Yes, Kindles and things. Um, well, the problem with the Kindle is it's not very good if you want to read comics and stuff. Um, because, you know, A, they're in colour, and B, they're in colour. And these are quite important things when you want to look at them. And sort of funny e-ink version on a screen that's, well, not going to be high enough resolution probably is not going to be terrifically marvellous. So, what options do you have then? Well, you can always get yourself one of these Android tablets that don't work properly, but that's a slightly pricey uh, proposal. You can get yourself an iPad, and that's an immensely pricey proposal to say the least. Well, you could also get yourself a colour ebook reader. They're not the cheapest of things, but don't worry, China to the rescue! That's the noise of China coming to the rescue, by the way. If you're in a bad situation and you hear then China is coming to your rescue. Don't worry. With cheapy versions of these ebook readery ones, for instance, our best new friends at Onda. Not to be confused with Honda. Yes, I'm sure that's entirely coincidental. And in fact, it says in the corner, Onda Digital Audio Player, which is where I've heard of them before. They make uh, MP3 players and stuff. Don't recall ever seeing one, and I still haven't because this is. An ebook reader, the VK30. And what a beastie thing it is, too. Look, it's got a screen. That helps. Right, uh, all the writing on the box does appear to be in Chinese, so I'm not particularly understanding of it. What I can make out is a few file formats and things. Um, there we've got the VK30, which is obviously the model type. There's the giveaway 800 by 600, that is the resolution of the screen. Flash. Ah, uh, he'll save every one of us with his crappy online games. No, um, apparently it runs Flash. I don't really understand how or how you would get Flash onto it, as you'll see later. But anyway, um, widget. TXT, PDF, EPUB, HTML, PDB, FB2. Right then, there you are. They will be, I imagine, your file formats for today. I'm not actually aware of PDB or FB2 off the top of my head. And I don't really care either. Ooh, 720p, there we are. You can watch your video in high definition. If this is powerful enough, I'm not giving you any spoilers. So if there's anything else of interest on the box, oh yeah, well, saying that, I immediately find something else of interest on the box. Four gigabyte! Yeah, that's the internal storage of this beastie. Ooh, anything else in the back? Nope. Nothing I can understand, anyway. Oh, hang on. Uh, video formats. MKV, AVI, RM, RMVB, MP4, MOV, VOB, DAT, FLUV, and 3GP. That's not bad. Um, that's quite impressive they can play MKV files, actually. But anyway, let's see what's in the box. Look, it opens up like a book. Do you see what they've done there? On one side, you have the device, which you can pull out with a little bit of ribbon, which is always jolly. And in the other half, we've got all the gubbins. It's raining gubbins. Hallelujah. Um, what have we got then? Oh, an empty bag. Pretty sure those have the... Where have they gone? Here we are. Horrible cheap headphones. Yeah, yeah. Well, the good news is they're slightly better than the awful cheap headphones you usually get. Look, they've put their logo on it and everything. Not that you can look, because it won't focus. But, um, yeah, they're still pretty terrible and you wouldn't want to use them if you have ears. Power adapter for charging it, with some devious foreign plug on that we can never use in a million years. Unless we plug that into it, of course. What else have we got? A card. Always useful. I have no idea what that says, but somebody will probably tell me in the comments. Warranty card. Um, 
instructions, if I recall, are entirely in Chinese, or possibly Japanese, or maybe Korean, I can't tell the difference. Um, yeah, as you may have noticed, very much for the Chinese market at the moment, this one. Uh, another major problem I had, actually, was changing it to English in order to actually use it. It took me ages. What's... Oh, screen protect! I didn't realise that came with it. That was a pity I've been using it without one. Oh, it's a nice little addition. Um, more gubbins. Uh, that is actually the instruction manual for something else that I've put in here by accident. There we are. Spoiler for future review there. <laughs> um, there we are. That's a cable. You plug it into your computer to transfer data. It's not complicated. And a dodgy written DVD-R, which um, contains many files in Chinese that I couldn't understand. And oddly, a lot of them had the English word Android in the title or in the um, directory they're in, at least. So maybe this runs some, I don't know, modified version of Android or something. I genuinely don't know. Seems unlikely, but also seems possible. Anyway, let's take a look at the device itself. Bang! It's got an Onda logo on. It's got a screen in which you can see vague reflections and fingerprints a bit. It's got buttons at the bottom for home, brightness, zoom. I had to remember what that one was. Due to the fact it's a magnifying glass with a little plus on, you would have thought I would have recognised that sooner. And uh, I believe that one, if I recall, changes orientation, you know, from the screen from uh, portrait to landscape, which I have just physically demonstrated for you in case you're too stupid to know the difference between portrait and landscape. Let me hear you spell patronise. Right, um, sticker on the side that says pass. Presumably that's where it passed some sort of quality control check in the factory. Other than that, they offered it one to somebody as a gift, and this went, now pass. Um, headphone socket, power supply, charger thing, USB. There's one of those slots that you open up and stick SD cards in. In fact, I have put a micro SD card in it as an easy way to um, get files onto it to test with, and also to test the micro SD card slot. Mm, doing well in the patronisation today. And a power button, which is useful if you like turning things off and then on again. And that's all, apart from round on the back, where you've got an Onda logo and some writing and some speakers. But wait! How do you go forward and backward a page? These little buttons on the side there. Back, back, back. Forward, forward, forward. Isn't that marvellous? Pity they don't have them on the other side, like the Kindle, really, but uh, what are you going to do? Answer, moan. Right, so let's turn her on. Hold in the power button for a few seconds and it leaps into life like a lifey thing. Oh, wow, that was a longer pause than I was expecting. Honda, we are not Honda. Please don't sue. Right, and there we have a screen. And there's those widgets they were talking about. Look, you've got a media player with Baby Baby 1M. Oh, my favorite song ever about a single letter of the alphabet. Well, apparently this is an e-book reader. Perhaps only reads the letter E and only plays the letter M. No, I'm being stupid. It's probably that Britney Spears song, actually. Play. Yes, it is the Britney Spears song. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> that was incredibly stupid. I just um, tried to play copyrighted music on a video. Yes, um, it is the Britney Spears song that has been preloaded in the factory for reasons unknown. Answer, probably some form of psychological warfare. What other use does her music have? Um, what have we got here then? Also a clock, a little thing that's rotating photos that were preloaded. This is nice, look. <clears throat> Resistive touchscreens, gotta love them. Also, really long delay from pressing it to something happening. Right, keyboard. Well, that's about as exciting as that gets. You've also got the volume control at the top. If I recall, it takes about 4,000 presses to actually get it to do anything. There we are, it's a bit louder. It doesn't work very nicely, this. It's not multi-touch, which is a good idea. I don't know if you've ever seen a resistive multi-touch screen I have on occasion, and they don't work very well, especially if you put your two fingers quite close together. Right, home, James. What else have we got? That's the volume again. You can actually move these round, I believe. There's absolutely no point doing so, but there we go. Another page. Oh, look, a calendar. If you don't know what a calendar is, then frankly, I'm surprised you managed to click on this video on YouTube. A doodle pad. Don't remember this. There we are. I've written a slightly rude word. Fantastic. Um, what is that? Oh, that's brightness of the screen. Brighter. 
Not so bright now. I've noticed you need it around three or four, depending on the lighting conditions outside. Um, if you're reading just sort of for quite a long time from it, I would recommend three. For all else, for instance, recording videos, I recommend four. There's a clock that not only tells you the time, but tells you where you are. I'm in London and Lisbon simultaneously, which is uh, interesting. I must be into quantum tunnelling or something. What else have we got? Aries. Why is it telling me about the star sign Aries? That's just weird. Oh, Taurus. Well, I'm Sagittarius. I'm going to click on these till it gets to that. Many because I don't know what order they go in. And memos. Presumably if you uh, put something in your calendar, it will then remind you there or say, I don't give a monkey's testicle. Let's get on with the actual point of it. Oh, something else I should point out. Top left-hand corner. Battery. Mmm, battery life. Battery life. Not so good. <laughs> get about three hours out of it which is not tremendous. I mean, I played a little bit of video in that, but not much. Um, you know, three hours for an ebook reader isn't great, when for one of these e-ink screens you'll get like a month, literally. But there we go. Let's uh, scroll back to the start. I'm getting freaked out by the little lion thing. Something that is nice, you can do a search, and it will literally search for everything on the device. So you can say, oh, I can't remember where I've put that ebook I want to read, and you can just tap the name and find it. Alternatively, you could just press reading and then get straight to a list of them. But there we are, it's an extra feature. We ain't moaning. Um, what shall we do first? Let's start at the bottom and work up, shall we? There's settings. That enables you to change the settings. Man, we're pushing the patronization too far. Let's ignore that now. Calculator. Presumably I can do hard sums, like 3 plus 2. Well, it claims to be 5, and I can't disagree with that. I just noticed the battery is getting dangerously low, actually, again. Explorer will enable you to look at all the uh, files on the device, and indeed all the files on the SD card, and it will even look at files that it can't recognise the format of. Ooh, something I must mention on formats. No. Actually, I'm not going to. <laughs> Wait until that's more relevant, thinking about it. And instead, I shall mention something else I haven't mentioned, the weight. Mmm. It's a bit heavy, actually. In fact, it weighs 473 grams, according to my scales, which is well over twice the weight of the last model of Kindle. And, I, you know, I know that's comparing apples and oranges, because there's a big colour thing, and the, it's got touch screens, and the Kindle hasn't, but... Um, when you're reading a book, this is a bit bloody heavy, to be honest. It's uh, equivalent to a sort of large paperback, except all the weights in one concentrated in one area, so it's a bit different and will give you cramped hands, you know, like that other thing you do. <coughs> right, game. Oh, this is interesting. We can play some games on it. Let's do this thing. We've got Chinese chess, Go Bang. Oh, you go bang. Othello, LLK, and Goldman. Oh, that looks more action-y. Let's have a go at Goldman. Goldman Sachs. You two can run your own bank and uh, destroy economies. Come on. $650. Thank you. Is that a gift? What? Oh, I see. Good God, that's a sinister-looking character at the top. Can you see him there? Good grief. He's like some bizarre cross between a cr clown, a pirate, and a psychopath. Um, I think I know this game. You tap on the air, and his little claw goes in. Oh, misses, and then takes ages to come back, and you have to get a certain... Yeah, target. 650 so hopefully this will now grab... Oh, blimey. No, I'm not doing very well at this. Also, isn't that skull there? Isn't that from the Wingdings font? Yes, I've got a nugget. And... Wow, that was creepy. Can I get him to do that again? Keep your ears open. Well, he's just gone from being extremely creepy to being nearly infinitely creepy. Oh, I've missed again. Blimey and crikey. Actually, I've noticed I've got 350 already, so it's not hard to hit the um, sort of high score needed to get to the next level. Mind you, this is probably the first level, thinking about it, so uh, maybe I should stop complaining. Well, this is actually running really nicely. I mean, it's really smooth. It w oh, that's a problem. I've blown his clamp up. And his eyes caught fire. That's pretty strange, to be honest. Um, yeah, this is all right. It's a bit of a diversion, you know, sort of thing that works well on iPhone and that, with a single tap. Presumably there are versions for uh, phones. It's such a shame when you miss. How does he see what he's doing? He bizarrely see through the floor. And also, how the hell does that claw work? It sort of tunnels through things without actually um, seemingly knocking any dirt out in between. 
Probably best I don't think about the logistics of this for too much, and now a mutant is trying to sell me stuff. Home, home, I am now frightened. Right, well, there's some games. Can you put extra games on it? Not that I can ascertain. So I hope you like the ones that are already on it. PDF! I know PDF, that is a portable document format, created, I believe, by Adobe. Well, knowing Adobe, it was created by somebody else and they bought it at some stage, I honestly don't know. Um, we'll come back to that. Record! Yeah, it's got a little mic in it and you can record things and then play them back. And uh, infinite hilarity will ensue if you are very easily amused. Photo! You can look at some... I'm not going to show you these, I'm sure you can work out what these are like. Video! Ah, now this is more interesting. What is the video playback quality like? We... That's weird, I only put one video on it. That's odd, it means these were already on it, but didn't show up the first time I did it. Um, well, that seems to be up, <laughs> the uh, Pixar film in the top one. Or a trailer, I would have said actually by the file size, as opposed to them pirating the whole movie and putting it on an ebook reader, which isn't very likely, thinking about it. Um, what's the next one? That looks medieval-y. It's not Lord of the Rings, no, it's like Game of Thrones? Or something? No, it's bloody... Um, Chronicles of Narnia with those posh stage school kids running round and going about how superior they are to the half human, half animal things. And there's a stupid thing I did. Um, I'm wondering if I could get away actually with. Uh, no, I'm not going to take the risk for copyright reasons for the uh, two at the top. Let's just use this crappy thing I always use. Right, it takes ages thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. It's thinking about it, you know. If you're wondering, it's thinking about who you Go on then, no. Can we zoom in? Not using that button. Oh, it's the dog when he was little. Um, oh, that. There we are. There's all sorts of different aspect ratios. Anyway, this isn't particularly amusing. Something I did to uh, make a friend of mine laugh. Damn, I missed the bit with the dog huffs. That was the only good bit. No, don't do that. It's got copyrights. Yeah, anyway, as you can see, um, it plays videos really well. Um, astonishingly well for something like this. Um, there's no messing around. It just fires them up. You do have to be a bit patient with the thinking about it, thinking about it at the start. But um, it plays them back beautifully. It does them in 720p. It doesn't ever seem to jitter or pause or anything. Um, you know, full marks. Now, unfortunately, it eats through the battery like, um, frankly something you don't want eating through your battery. Uh, you could probably get away with a short train journey with it, but uh, don't expect to be taking it on holiday with you and not charging it. Dictionary. Tell us what words mean. A bag of bones. What? It just occurred to me I didn't look at this before, which is why I'm now extremely confused. This would possibly be some sort of translating dictionary? A bag of bones? That's not sinister at all, is it? So there we are, that is apparently the Chinese for a bag of bones. Brilliant! If you are in China and you need to say that, you should probably get the hell out of China as quickly as you can, because something has gone horribly wrong. Is that speaking it? A bag of bones. Oh wow, listen to that. A bag of bones. Wow, that's so creepy. A dish of gossip. I want the dish of gossip, come on. A dish of gossip. What does that mean? A dish of gossip? That's not even a phrase, is it? It's just a bizarre um, translation. A name to conjure with. A name to conjure with. This is amusing me infinitely. It's just bizarre sayings. Ah, no, we've got actually words. Uh, and abhorrence, yep. Yeah. That'll do nicely. Play. Abhorrence. No, pretty sure you've uh, pronounced that strangely, actually. But fair enough, that's up to you. Hmm. That was a bit creepy, that, wasn't it? So it came up with bizarre phrases and words <laughs> and things. Hmm. Music, right? Well, we know music. It will play Emma um, Britney Spears song and get me in trouble if I press anything, so let's not do that. My library, not aware of what that is. Oh, it just shows you all the books you've downloaded. And by all the books you've downloaded, I mean the uh, one I downloaded and the other two that were already on here. Well, let's get into the meat and two veg of this device. That is, let's use it for actually reading things. Now, if you've got a colour screen, you really want to be looking at colour things, like comics. Now, a lot of sites I have seen, including some selling this, uh, claim that it supports the CBZ format, which is a big zip file full of images they use to uh, pass um, 
comics around on the internet. Well, you'd be pleased to hear it doesn't. Simple as that. It doesn't support any comic book formats at all. It only supports PDF, so if you want to read a comic on it, you've got to convert it to a PDF. Already this is failing miserably, but fear not, because I happen to have a PDF on here to look at. It's that one about um, copyright that's uh, distributed freely, so I don't get in trouble. And take the ball low. There we are. Bound by law. Trapped in a struggle she didn't understand. By day a filmmaker. By night she fought for fair use. Yeah, it's all about copyright. <sighs> Don't expect much in the way of excitement, but you know, it's probably an important subject. Right, next page. Brilliant. Not only is it not resizing it in a non-ugly fashion, but when you press next page, it doesn't actually go down a page. Right, let's do it manually. Oh god, that's a bit iffy. Hmm, that's not exactly ideal. It doesn't resize things well. Um, it makes them look blocky and nasty. And actually going down a page is a bit of a pain, to be honest. Can we zoom in? Oh no, I'm trying to really touch. That's not going to work. Zoom in there. Oh dear. Well, it will zoom in, but you've got to be prepared to wait a while. And it's still ugly when you go in. I think we're actually getting beyond the... Um, yeah, it's getting a bit blocky now. Now we've gone in too far. Great. So, uh, what we're looking at is it doesn't actually support any comic book formats. You've got to put it all in PDF, and it's not very good at reading the PDFs. It's, in fact, a complete pain. You've got to grab hold of them and physically fire them up in the bloody air in order to see what's going on next. That's not very good, because the whole reason you would want a colour one of these, really, is to look at comics, and that's pretty much knocked that off the menu. So now it is an ebook reader that will also play videos. But it does play videos well. Deary me. Right, next is the absolute point of it. Reading. Yes. I've downloaded something called the Swedish Fairy Book. How can you resist anything with a title like that? Um, it's basically fairy tales. Let's have a look. Right, we start off well, although it's got a weird backdrop. It takes a while to appear as well. There we are, the Swedish Fairy Book. Everything you want to know about Swedish fairies, but we're too bored to ask. Hmm. Now this is not so good. This is the Project Gutenberg free book download, please don't sue us, um, intro, and it's not laid out very well, to say the least. Hmm, well, that really don't look too great. Let's skip along a bit and see the front page again. That's odd. Ooh. A different image of some creature in bed. Can't quite make him out. No sooner had he spoken the words than he was lying in the most magnificent room he had ever seen. Those words presumably were, I'm going to sleep in a really magnificent room. Good night, I'll see you in the morning. Um, what else we got? A preface, don't care. Ah, now that's a problem. Look, why is the start of the contents page, in fact the title, appearing at the bottom of another page? Yeah, that's just a complete mess. That, I mean, what? That's unusable. Is it bad formatting from Gutenberg? I wouldn't have thought so. They're usually very hot on stuff like that. Right, well, the Swedish fairy book. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, this is better. Look, you can actually read this without it doing your eyes in much. Yep, this is far better formatted. This is far more like it. Yeah, everything's all wrong. What? No, that's gone all weird there. And chapter two doesn't start on a new page. And what's going on here? But to wander back home. Again, like a journeyman apprentice. What? It doesn't format the bloody text properly. Hmm, if only we had some sort of, uh, you know, other ebook reader to actually check the formatting with, we could see whether it's the font of the device or not. But unfortunately, I don't have an Amazon Kindle handy, especially not this one. Um, right, let's wake it up. We don't see Jules Verne. Ooh. Jump cut. I do apologise, but the uh, lighting was way off it, and that weird red thing it does if you focus on a TFT screen for too long. Right, um, looking at the Kindle here, compare this to the formatting on the other one. Actually, if I can get this to go back a page, which turns out to not be that easy. Right, um, looking at this, it goes note, and it's all horribly formatted, and then two just starts beneath. On the Kindle, the note looks sensible, it's easily readable. And, indeed, the page break works. So, we have just discovered that the ebook reader isn't very good for reading ebooks. <clears throat> 
You can't see my face now, but I'm basically glaring at it with thinly veiled contempt. Um, is there anything else we can do? Can we get rid of that horrible bloody background, for starters, because that's just gubbins, yep. Double tap, that was it. There's various options to make the text bigger or smaller or whatever. But also, I'm pretty sure you can turn the background off, because I did it before. Can't remember how. Oh yeah, background. Brown. You can change it from brown to while. While being white, only spelt as a different word. And there we are. Looks clearer. It's in fact a really bad idea because it hurts your eyes quite a lot. Um, if you're going to do that, knock the brightness down. To about there, I would have said. Oh, actually that was quite good through the viewfinder. Hmm, there we are. I could have made the battery last longer. But I didn't. You don't want to brighten it up again for no good reason. Um, as you may have noticed also, there are options for speaking the text aloud. Ooh, exciting. And I don't know what that one does. I've forgotten that was. Oh, that brings up the media player, yeah, to get me in trouble again. Thanks. Right, go on then. Speak. Hmm, yes, as you can tell, you probably wouldn't want that actually narrating anything to you because it sounds confusing and horrible. Although it's not actually any worse than the one on the genuine Kindle, although they have the excuse of saying theirs is in beta. Um, I think you can change the voice. I didn't fiddle around with this. Yeah, speaker from female to male. Go on then, let's see if this chap's any better. Oh, it's a damn touch screen. Go on. Here we go. Oh no, you've got to press the button. <laughs> I'm expecting it to be psychic now. No, nope. <laughs> that's what I want. Well, that's far worse than the female one, actually. It sounds more robotic, doesn't it? Well, the only thing I like about that is that it has a Chinese accent, um, which is great because it's a Chinese device. That kind of makes sense. But um, no, it's still too robotic and stilted and can't really read properly. Well, what a disappointment. Um, it's an ebook reader that's not really any good for reading ebooks from. In fact, the only thing this is good for is for storing and playing video. I do wonder if that is where old Onda's um, history lies, because of course they did make um, loads of MP3 players, probably video players, I haven't looked into it, but perhaps they have just taken a video player and stuck on a dodgy front end, allowing it to vaguely read ebooks badly. That's certainly what it feels like. I mean, it's disappointing because you would think for something that's sold for just doing one thing and not actually, you know, pushing the boat out too far, it has some basic um, options for playing video and music, but, you know, it's not claiming itself to be a fully dancing, singing tablet machine of excitement or anything. It's just saying, ebook reader, you can read ebooks on it. So you would think perhaps they could get that bit right. But no, they haven't, as I have proven there, which is a real shame. And in fact, it's only one of the side projects of it, the video that works properly at all. So there we go. Um, if you want to read ebooks, get yourself a Kindle, I think is the answer to that. And if you want to read comics on the go, I'm afraid you are still going to have to get yourself a proper tablet. Because uh, whilst this is a bit cheaper, um, price-wise, incidentally, it's 126 US dollars at the moment, which comes in at about 80 pounds, all um, shipping included. So it's not going to break the bank, but on the other hand, it's not going to do much of use. Um, unless you really need something that specifically just plays videos, and you might read a little bit from it occasionally, and you're very patient, and you occasionally want to do a sum on a calculator and maybe play a game where somebody throws a claw through the floor to get giant gold nuggets, then you've got a use for this. If you do not have such bizarre and specific requirements, then don't worry, you're not a complete weirdo, and also you should probably look elsewhere.